talk about American Idol in Utah in the same sentence, usually it's David Archuleta that pops up to your mind, or even Carmen Rasmussen. But today, it's Jason Castro. He's the guy with the dreads. All right, so everybody, Jason Castro, put your hands together. Yeah. All right, now, Jason, Utah's rich with American Idol history. We've got Carmen Rasmussen. She was, I believe, in season two. Do you know her? Not familiar with her. But uh, David Archuleta. I do know that guy, though. <laughs> because uh, he was your season, right? Yeah, we were in the same season. So why don't you give us a little, uh, uh, something, a snippet of uh, David Archuleta trivia that we might not know. Hmm, David Archuleta trivia. Jeez, I don't know. Does he have a fake ID? <laughs> I strongly doubt it, but I wouldn't know. <laughs> we're doing a sound check. Okay, Michelle. It's a sound check time. Yeah. So this is what it's like behind the scenes. Yeah. Came in my darkness, he came in my light, he came without warning, he came to my side. You are the one, you are the one, and you are the one. Oh, beautiful. You know, it's not every day you get an idol in the newsroom, so we want to see what people think about that. And the other thing is you can tell when our guests are hot because all the ladies stand right around there. He's got a good voice. I heard the sound check. I dig the dreads. He classifies himself as an American acoustic folk pop singer-songwriter. He's a multi-talented. And he was fourth place finalist on the seventh season of American Idol. On a yummy scale, how yummy is he? I don't think uh, I can answer that. <laughs> I don't want to say either the way. The yummy scale. I, <laughs> I like that. Okay. Yeah, what does that even mean? You are beautiful. You are 